happens when you have a thought or a sentence that's a little bit longer, but the chord changes? What do you do? And this is where scale continuity comes in. Watch this. And that one sounded really cool because it, for there was like four chromatic notes in a row, B flat, melodic minor, and then I'm going to go to D melodic minor. One, two, three, and... See how pretty that is, you know? I'm trying to play a little more than just A minor, and I'm certainly not playing an A minor Dorian scale. So say for instance, I wanted to hit that note, and I went. So, one, two, three, and. See how I went da da ba da ba da ba da da, which is a, a quintuplet in there. Instead of playing tr the, the sort of triplet based uh, eighth notes, try straightening it out and then accenting the upbeats. Your fingers are going to start going to places where your ears tell them to go before you even know what the theory is because, it, because you hear it. And that's what we're trying to get to. <laughs> 